Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule of Waves 3 as the United States. It's now 1930. We remain at peace and are building up the fleet steadily, but in the last episode, Germany violated the Monroe Doctrine and occupied the Dominican Republic, and we now appear to be barreling pretty rapidly towards potential war with them. Two ships and nine destroyers worked up. Japan and Italy have an alliance. A lot of alliances over there. New medium bombers. Okay, these at least are clearly better. They're all about the same speed and faster. They all have the same bomb load, and it's heavier. Okay, the Republic has the longest range. Equal best firepower. Not maneuverable, not tough. The Martin has the shortest range, which I feel like kind of rules it out, because the Curtis... Curtis has middling range, better maneuverability, and it's the toughest. Although there is slightly less range. Well, interesting. Less range at light load, but more at medium and heavy load. I feel like we go with the Curtis design again. And, um, right now there are s some lobbyists very heavily accusing me of favoring Curtis in contracts, something tells me, but, uh, I don't know, everybody else should design better aircraft if they want the deal, say. Okay, that's an enormous monthly profit. Um... And tension is running really high. Build bigger docks. Hopefully they don't take my money away before three months' time when the Pennsylvania class design is ready. Wasp is worked up. Destroyers are commissioned. Oh, I need to decommission a bunch more old destroyers. Um, that agent is a hero. Flexible station keeping, looser divisions, less enemy accuracy. I, uh, no. Screw yourself, Minister of the Navy. You don't need to look at the budget, or uh, the blueprints. Um, I had something I was thinking, but I've forgotten entirely, so. Oh, yes, I was thinking, should I turn on... training priorities prematurely. We don't really have the money to do it without heavily hamstringing our construction program, though. It's possible we'll avoid war still, so... I'm not going to turn them on until we get over uh, that. North American Wildcat. It's slow. It has good range, good maneuverability, good firepower. Eh. I don't think it's better enough. I'm going to decline. Oh, they're going to take my money away. But, um... One month, maybe we'll get away with it. How many destroyers do I have in service right now? 84? I'm going to decommission four more Lawrences. I think, considering what everybody else has built up to, maybe we'll just keep 80 in service. Probably a 2,500-ton destroyer needs to be in the immediate future. Uh, hi, Huffman. It is an 1890 campaign. Internal upheaval in Celebes and Moluccas. Well, that I, we can probably back down from. We don't need to go into the Indian Ocean. Mm, we finished Pennsylvania. Design. We're going to lay down four of them to start with. We might have to pause some. I don't know if we'll be able to carry it all the way through, but... Uh, 
we'll build them as rapidly as possible. I really want, you know, four is a weird number. I'd just rather have five to replace all the Kentuckys plus Delaware, but that'll do. I mean, Britain and Germany have more than 12 battleships, but I'm somewhat okay with it being, uh, with us being a little outnumbered as long as we have better battleships. Saratoga is still struggling with this opera business. The Austrians have a full-sized aircraft carrier with 67 aircraft. Why they would have that, I don't know. I mean, it's not like everybody needs it. Yes, I imagine there are rumors in Germany about war with us. Um, I mean, they don't have any colonies still. So everything is operating out of the... Uh, Adriatic here. Yeah, my ships in service are... Um, we have a total of 12 battleships, of which we still have these very old 12-inch armed uh, USS Delaware, plus four Kentucky class, which have 14-inch uh, guns. They're a little thin on the deck armor for modern combat, but I don't have anything to replace them yet. Uh, then the three Minnesota class, which have 16-inch guns and better armor. Their decks also may be a little thin, but those were from the late uh, 10s. And then our most modern battleships are the Illinois class, which are pretty much still state-of-the-art as far as the world is concerned, but except that I'm replacing them completely. <laughs> or not replacing them, but... Uh, getting something quite a lot larger. Uh, battle cruisers, we have six currently. The old Saratoga class, which is uh, 15 years old now, but were very state-of-the-art at the time they were built. The Constellation class, which were still are actually absolute behemoths for bad being battle cruisers. Uh, obviously now they're 12 plus years old, but uh, I think compared to anything anybody else has, still they're very. I mean, a lot of. This is Germany's most modern battlecruiser, for instance, and she has a lot less armor, among other things. And Britain keeps building absolutely riot, wild. Uh, let's see. This is Britain's idea of a 1920-era battlecruiser, which still has cross-deck fire for some reason, and six inches of belt armor. Oh, you like Constellation? That's good. Uh, and then we've just finished Congress, which is basically just Constellation on steroids. She has an extra two knots of speed and uh, a lot more belt uh, deck armor, but nothing else dramatic. Um, and then we have six heavy cruisers, the Brooklyn class, which are pretty much, they're pretty new, so they're, they're not bad at all. We, they have nine inch guns because we didn't have good eight inch guns at the time. Oh, plus Brooklyn, which was replacing a war loss, which is just a slightly upgraded version. Uh, uh all my CV. Yeah. Uh. We've just finished our first ones for Langley class, which have uh, 60 aircraft, 31 knots. Um, 31. I designed them for 30, actually, but they did better than expected. So I think they're pretty solid uh, for 1930, certainly. They just... Um, Germany actually has a lot more carriers than me, but... If the war had been a couple years earlier, we would have had a much bigger problem, so I'm not too worried about it now. And then, you know, we have the usual massive pile of destroyers and light cruisers and things, but... We actually have a totally heterogeneous light cruiser force of Junos.
Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see if war with Germany breaks out anytime soon. More wind slows finished. Good, good. I think we might need to design a 2,500 ton destroyer soon, but we'll see. Obviously, I don't have the money right now. Okay, the world economy is recovered. Maybe that will stop my balance being so terrible. Morocco. We don't need Morocco. Later steam turbines, 2% weight saving. Better Electra. More range. Very good. Yeah, as far as the world goes, we've been expanding mostly into Asia, so anything. I've stayed out of Africa, and I mean to keep it that way, honestly. But we're doing pretty well in Asia and the Caribbean. All right, so now we are just building for Pennsylvania's. And for budgetary reasons, it's pretty much going to have to stay that way until we can either get more money or finish these. Liberal government wants to reduce arms expenditures. This will spell the doom of the nation. Hmm. There's not even really, well, except to reduce tensions, there's not even really any reason to decline. This will spell the doom of our naval power. Consolidated torpedo bomber. It's got hugely less range and less speed and less maneuverability. It's only slightly tougher and it carries a bigger light bomb. Yeah, that's going to be a no consolidated. We fired on an Italian fishing boat during maneuvers. Um, they were in a restricted area. I'm not apologizing. If Italy wants to sail over to the United States and attack us about it, they can feel free. Something tells me that would make the whole Russian circumnavigation debacle look competent. Um, a disarmament conference in the Hague? We should not be limited in our national security by any, any restrictions imposed upon us. Ooh. Russia and Japan are going to go to war. Grumman dive bomber. It's slow. It doesn't have better range. In fact, it doesn't have better anything. No, Grumman. No. You guess it could come up with actually better... Okay, tensions are now high with pretty much everyone the world over. At least everybody that matters, which is just these four. These four are too far behind to be worthwhile. Um, hopefully, I'll fight any one of them. Just hopefully not two at once. And I don't really want to fight France again immediately, but that looks the least likely, so... Saratoga is really big on these operas. I keep getting this pop-up every couple turns. Captain Fraser, a loose cannon, has shot Captain Badger in a rivalry over a woman. It might not have been wholly accidental. Well, this guy is average and a loose cannon, so let's just... Uh... Well... I like... Well, no, rate of fire enthusiast. He's going to get ships blown up, isn't he? He's beady. We're going to expel him from the service. <laughs> okay, some people are developing medium bombers that carry heavy bomb loads. To be fair, that's not really what I use the medium bombers for. I'm just using them as big scouts, because... I mean, when has high-level bombing ever worked to sink a ship that's at sea? Basically, never. It doesn't happen. 
unless you're really, really lucky. It's got to be torpedo or dive bombing if you want to actually do anything. More naval spending. Um, well, I mean, budget is good, but I'm not a tool for steel industry lobbyists. Thank you very much. Wow, tension with Germany went up anyway. We are kind of on the brink here. Well, serve them right after that whole violation of our sovereign waters. Uh, the Caribbean is American territorial waters now, by the way, guys, in case you didn't know. So far as I'm concerned. Internal upheaval in Samoa. That I will go for. We should sh shoulder the burden and restore order. Post-hardening tempering process. Better armor quality. Okay, we've annexed Samoa. That pissed off everyone, but most especially Germany. Why? I don't even know. They have no... I mean, to be fair, there was, I believe, there was a historical... Uh, crisis between America and Germany over the Samoa of some sort, but that we're way past that. Germany has no Pacific colonies in this world. So, okay. At this point, I think probably I can only apply two, right? Yeah. I usually like to go for gunnery, but I've had requests to go for torpedo warfare just to test it out. And I want damage control so that my ships don't sink. Although we could try just going for gunnery and torpedo warfare both and see if we can just hit everything hard enough to sink it all. Eh, what the heck, we'll try these two out. Um, I expect war will probably break out next turn or very shortly, so... Might as well get a jump on training. Tucson still neglecting combat training in order to build pyramids. The Hispano Aviation, okay. Really, Spain has a faster fighter than us? Curtis has upgraded their dive bomber again. Better range, heavier bomb load. Fantastic. Our budget is bad, but that's because I just did the training thing. I think we'll probably be at war any moment now, so... Spy from Russia? Well, actually, let's handle it discreetly, because we're about to be at war with Germany. Welded hole for weight saving. Improved oblique penetration, which improves oblique penetration and reduces the effective inclined belt. Night surfaced or torpedo attacks, better submarine effectiveness. Our spy in Germany reports that they plan to declare war on us in seven months. Who makes a plan like that? And also seven months? Tensions are already at 12. Could we just start the war? Uprising in a South American country. Let's send a cruiser and hopefully we don't start a war with Britain. We're working on five inch dual purpose mountings. Oh, we're very close to war with Britain. The last thing we need is war with Britain and Germany at the same time. One or the other, fine. Not both. Struggling with improved welding. Germany has, or uh, Japan has a new dive bomber. Okay, we're going to go bankrupt in a month if we don't go to war. Improved motor torpedo boats. Nobody builds MTP squadrons. Brewster has a fighter now. Okay, you know, to be fair to Brewster, this is faster. It's got longer range, more maneuverability. It's not as tough. But for that, all that range and the speed and the maneuverability, probably a worthwhile upgrade. Let's go for it. And now nobody accused me of 
Curtis favoritism anymore. All right. Italy is seeking improved relations. Um, we can cooperate a bit with Italy. Oh, boy. Well, I don't want them to... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Tension with Germany is 15. I don't know why we're not at war yet, honestly. Can I guarantee victory over Great Britain if war should come? Our well-trained navy will easily beat their collection of rusted old hulks. Deck edge lifts, better readying times. We're going to go to war with both Germany and Britain, aren't we? Well, that's going to be a heck of a fight, is what that comes down to. We should build a base in Seattle. A little late to think about that now, but I wasn't. Ex I was expecting war with Germany. Increased optics, electric elevation for our rate of fire. More powerful compressed air eject. Ejection, so center line torpedo tubes on 3,500 ton ships, 5 inch dual purpose mountings. Yeah, no kidding, there's. Oh, hell spells. We're at war with Great Britain, and our tension with Germany is still insanely high. Well, 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 well. Honestly, I'm not too afraid of Britain. Their carrier arm is weaker than Germany's. They do have a lot of cruisers these days. Because everybody's been matching my cruiser buildup. A lot of their battleships are still either strangely laid out or just glass cannons with... I mean, look at all these things. Like, 11 and a half isn't so bad, but all these 10-inch belt battleships, like, those are... Awfully flimsy, honestly. Renown here is quite nice. Mars went back to 14-inch guns and no belt armor for no reason in 1919. Redoubtable also has no armor and only three actual turrets. Hannibal. Hmm. It's not terrible, but... Barfleur... Maybe this is the worst of the lot, honestly. Who builds in 1923 a battleship with six 16-inch guns and a 9.5-inch belt? This isn't a battleship. I don't know what it is. It's a... It's a... Um, it's a bad battle cruiser it's a really oversized coastal monitor i don't know what to say about it it's terrible is what it is although revenge here's much more formidable fast battleship at the cost of armor but everything britain has is speed at the cost of armor so i can hardly even criticize that this thing only has three turrets but at least it's well armored the hoods, these two hoods, which are the most modern, are just literally the Nelson class, I'm pretty sure, so they're not bad at all. Man, they still have a New Zealand class battle cruiser. Yeah. In order to keep its numbers up, Britain has kept a lot of pretty dated ships in service. I mean, I have Delaware, which is pretty dated, but... Uh... The fact that almost their whole battlecruiser force, yeah, 
everything up to the most modern class still has cross deck fire. I don't understand that for the life of me. 10 16 inch guns built 1917 and it's using cross deck fire. It's not even that fast for a battle cruiser. And it has a six and a half inch belt. This thing is garbage. Yes, it has a lot of guns, but like. I would bet on, honestly, my Saratoga class with 14-inch guns would beat this thing, just because it has no armor and no speed, and the guns barely even work at most angles. This is much better. These are quite uh, impressive. Why is there no picture for, oh, okay, yes, there we go. I don't know what I changed the game view. Their carriers, they have two eagles, which are... There's nothing remarkable about them. They just are pretty damn similar to ours overall. Slower, though. All right. So, next time, we are going to be at war fully with Great Britain, and most likely pretty shortly with Germany. We're going to have to move into probably, well, probably we're going to have to fight on pretty much three fronts all around our, at least three fronts, if not five. Because we're going to have to fight on both of our coasts and in the Caribbean against Britain, and in the Caribbean only probably against Germany. Plus, we might tangle with Britain across the whole colonial sphere. To what extent? I'm not sure. I never put aircraft in those bases here, did I? Well, I put some, but I never expanded them as I meant to. Add. Let's see, we got 40. Okay. Maximum fighter contingent plus add torpedo bombers and then copy and paste that to here. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to replace the existing units because I don't want to bother with the... Jesus the manual replacement of everything. It should only take a turn or two to do it. Okay, everything's fully filled out with just aircraft then, so that's good. Okay. So, next time, we will be fighting a war with Germany. Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy consider leaving a like or subscribing and have a nice day this is sea lord janda signing off